Hi everyone, Lisa here from LC Designs. How are you doing today? Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Um, I was gone last week. I had an amazing trip with my Stampin' Up! friends, um, my fellow demonstrators. There were six of us. We all um, flew out to Utah, Park City. Well, one of them, Crystal, she lives in Utah, so five of us flew in, and we just uh, had such an amazing time, such, um, oh my gosh, so many laughs, uh, just, uh, just a great time. We needed it, um, just, we hadn't seen each other in two years. We had tried to plan this, um, well, we had planned this trip for last year in September, but we weren't able to do it because of COVID. Um, people's flights were getting canceled and blah, blah, blah. But we got to visit the home office, um, shop, eat, craft, stay in our PJs all day. I built his fires at night. We just had such a great time. But today I have a lot to share with you because I want to show you some of the gifts I received. I also have my pre-order from the catalog, from the new catalog, the in colors. I've already been playing with them and I have um, a class already created. I'm just going on my iPad to make sure that I can see myself. There I am. So that way I can see comments. Where is it going? Okay, so let's hope I have the volume down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down. Please bear with me. Like I said, I have a lot to show and then plus we're doing two projects. I'm gonna do a um, treat box and a mini card. First of all, I'm gonna share some of the gifts that I received at, um, at our girls week, I should say. So Heather got us these little baskets. She had somebody make them and she had some chocolates in it, some lotion. There was another sweet treat in there, a pretzel, chocolate covered caramel pretzel. And what this basket's for is like for you to put your stuff in till you hold it. So I'm actually using that today, but I wanted to show you. Crystal, she made these cute little envelope pouches. It has a rainbow pin, flamingos, a pencil bag um it says when life brings rain look for the rainbow and look at this little paper clip it has a rainbow on it and the themes kind of seem to be going with rainbows none of us planned this none of us knew what each other was bringing or we weren't expecting gifts from one another but that's kind of what we do is we always bring each other gifts and then plus there was a pair of rainbow socks. You'll see them because somebody else got rid of rainbow socks. So this was a gift from Deborah, And this is so adorable. Look, she decorated this wooden box. She put some instant coffees in there. I don't want to touch anything because it's so pretty. She got us this keychain. It says good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know that they are always there. And then this is like a post-it note holder, some candies. There's some dimensionals down there and some liquid glue, which she saved the day because I forgot to bring my liquid glue. So this was from Deborah. This one was from Alessandra. It's a little pouch and she made the things in our favorite colors. This is a L. And there's some mixed nuts in here, a brownie, some moisturizer, and she had some masks. So one night we all put our facial masks on and we were laughing so much because we we all look pretty spooky. But that was from Alessandra. And then this cute one was from Denise. Again, rainbow theme. We didn't plan any of this. And inside this bag, she got us the rainbow socks. My other pair, I actually have on right now. And some hot cocoa and look she knows I like Lucky Charms she got us each a headband in our colors so we were taking pictures with our headbands on and it was so funny because I was taking the selfie that it took us like 
I don't know, 10 tries to get it right. She got us the H-E-B um, uh, pecan candy from Texas. Of course, you can see I ate half of mine already. And she got us this cute little bracelet, the little heart. I was going to put it on today, and I forgot. So that was Denise's gift. Again, none of us knew what each other was giving. And last but not least, I have these shirts made for us. And when we went to the home office, these were a big hit. Mine has lint all over them because I washed it with the blanket. But these were such a huge fit hit. People were coming up to us and wanting to take our pictures uh, with us. So those are my gifts. So now the business side, a couple of reminders. Um, my project sheet has posted. And again, my printer is still not fixed. I'm waiting on ink. And then my Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial for April is now available with a $30 purchase. And this month we focus on um, birthdays and they're all fancy folds. And the new catalog is coming. So if you would like a new catalog, I have a post here on this page that um, you can request a catalog and then I will mail one out to you. Mine are not here yet, but as soon as they get here, I will be sending them out. And one last but not least, my Rainbow Retreat in a Box Friday is the last day. I'm not going to show you everything inside of it because it's a surprise. But I had so much fun creating this with Heather and Deborah. But I'm just going to open it up and show you how cute I have it wrapped. Ta-da! So cute. So there's three pillow gifts in there. There's six projects. There's um, uh, product and everything. Friday's the last day to get your hands on this kit to register for it. Okay. So I think that's done. Here is our project for the day. Ah, my little, my leaf got smooshed. And we're going to make a card. And I forgot to grab the box of what is in there. But I will show you. So we are using the In Blooms, In Bloom stamp set and dies. This is going to be retiring. So you need to get your hands on it if you want it. I love this die set. There's a ton of dies missing because I'm using them all. And I pulled the stamp set out. But this is retiring, so I wanted to focus on it. I used this stamp set to make favors for my granddaughter's 15th birthday, or um, the dies. I used it to make a card for Erica for her million dollar achievement. I just love, love, love. This is going to be hard to part away with this one. So let's get started on our box. Oh, you want to see what's in the box first? It is some snack cakes. And we, we tied a bow around them because we usually don't decorate what's inside. And it matched the paper perfectly. So these snack cakes are little Debbie's. You get a box of them for under a couple of dollars. And I forgot to bring it in here. They're in my pantry. I was gonna show you and I forgot to grab it. So again, let's get started. I know that's a ton of stuff, ton of stuff going on. We're gonna start out with some thick, basic white paper. And we're gonna cut it eight and a half by seven. So we already know this side's eight and a half. So we'll do this by seven. Get all my stuff out of the way. So cut it at seven. And then get this blade out of the way. We're gonna score the long side at one and one quarter inch. at four inches, five and a quarter inches, and eight inches. Did 
I do that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm second guessing myself. And now on the short side, we're gonna score it at one and a quarter as well. And then five and three quarters. And then let's put this together and then we'll go ahead and cut up all our pieces that we're gonna use. Hopefully you can see these score lines. It's pretty bright out here today. We're getting some very nice weather. The husband is out golfing, of course. Anytime there's some nice weather, he's golfing, even when it's not nice. He's been out there golfing in the snow. So we're scoring all these lines, burnishing all these lines. And then now we're gonna cut them. Where's my scissors? So this little tab, I'm kind of having a hard time seeing because everything's, all the white's blending in. We're gonna cut these two small tabs off and cut these at an angle. But that trip was just so much fun. It's funny how we were all being like little kids because I guess we didn't have anybody to answer to but ourselves. We stayed in our PJs at least till noon <laughs> because we didn't have to get ready and go anywhere unless we wanted to. We pretty much craft all, crafted all day creating classes, working on our um, retreat boxes. I'm having a super hard time to see this white on the white. So I hope that looks decent enough. And so our box is gonna go like this. But I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna cut these at an angle. Because I'm sure my lines were not very good since I could not, I can't see with this white on this white background. I guess I usually don't use a whole lot of white. But let me, and I will show you guys my pre order. I know a lot of you were laughing at me yesterday because. I was impatiently waiting for the UPS guy. I hate when they say, oh, it'll be delivered by 12, and then it's not here. Just like my printer ink. I ordered that days ago, and it was with Amazon, and it's still not here. So let's, you can use tear and tape or stamp and seal plus. I ran out of my plus and I forgot to refill it. So I'm using, those are just for, um, like it's a heavy duty. You don't want, we do not want this box falling apart. So we wanna use something that's gonna keep it sticking. And see how simple that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut these at an angle, too. They just go in the box easier. I forgot to do it. I could tell my cutting was not the greatest. So this will go in just like that. And there's our box. So let me take my treat out. And darn it that I didn't grab another one because I had the ribbon here and everything to... Um, wrap it. Like I said, we usually don't wrap what's inside the box, but today we're just going to put a little bow. And if you even wanted to put one of these flowers on it that we're going to make, that would be super cute. Look, I have some that are already pre-made. And look, you could just slip that in there, stick it on there, and put, and then that way when they open the box, they get another surprise. So we'll just leave that in there for now, even though I didn't glue it on. And so now we're gonna cut all our pieces of designer series paper. So this is another product that is retiring. This is a host set, but I love this paper. There's so many, oh my goodness, so many pretty patterns in it and everything. So I'm using the black and the white. 
and we're gonna cut this. Everything's gonna be at four and three eighths. One, two, three, so it's the notch before the half. Well, mostly everything's four and three eighths. So I'm just gonna cut this one four and three eighths. And then it's gonna be two and five eighths, which is the one after the half. This is for the top of our box. Ah, I open my box. And then one and one and one eighth. And we need two of those because those are the front and the back, one and one eighth. I still can't grab things. And then this, I need another one and, well, I need a couple. So it's one and, a, one, and one eighth. I'm just gonna cut these two, one and one eighth, but it's gonna be by two and five eighths because that's the sides. I don't know why my trimmer's squeaking. So two and five eighths, which is the one after the half. And these, again, are our sides. Hi, Pam. How you doing? Okay, so I think that's it on the cutting on the DSP. So again, for our box, we'll just use some seal. The, um, these flowers that we're gonna be making. The other thing that I love about it is that they're all scraps. I'm using all scraps to make the flowers. You don't have to use, I don't know about you guys, but I save my scraps because I put them in a little envelope and then I have them in magazine holders for the colors. And that way when I need something, I can get it. So say I need just a little balmy blue circle, I can just go grab a balmy blue scrap. And they're always there. I don't wanna jinx myself, but my seal is working for me today. Now that I said it, <laughs> looks like I'm getting ready to run out, but I do have a backup on that. Unlike my seal plus so there's our box how cute is that so now like I said with the flowers now I have a bunch of dies that I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't know if I should just uh, do a assortment or do exactly what I had already done let me find my plates. They're hiding over here. How many of you got your mini while it was on sale? That was a, such a good deal to get the mini. We're using it again today. And I actually, I took this on my trip, put it in my suitcase, had no problems. So as I said, look, I'm just using all scraps. No, no, um, Let's see what I can do here. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna make an assortment of flowers. Let's do these two. Let's do some of these for the center. And then of course my leaves I will do, oops, this one is off the paper. My leaves I will do in Granny Apple Green. So I've used Night of Navy, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Pumpkin Pie, Mango Melody. I just wanted some colors to pop on that black and white. So I do have some pieces that are already cut as well. So this won't take forever. Uh, let me grab, this is Mango Melody. Whoops, it's a little bit too big. Let me get my trimmer. That's kind of the only thing about the mini. You know, your paper has to be a certain size. Let's put this on this. Let me grab some of these other ones. Mango. 
Melody. And then here, let's get some of these. And go through again. This one was a little bit tough. So I'm gonna show you the product that I got yesterday at the end of this video. For uh, that way, in case anybody who's hopping on late, they'll be able to see what I got. I didn't buy everything, but pretty darn close. Like I said, I already have a, my first class is gonna be the Bottled to Happiness class. And I'm going to be using the in colors for it. So let's do these leaves. And then I'll just use some, some of the other pieces that I, I had already cut prior to us starting. Because I don't want you guys waiting around as I cut all these pieces. But you know what I do? When I'm using this set, I just cut a bunch of pieces. I just cut them. And then that way I can um, use them anytime I need them. They'll already be cut. I could put some flowers together. And, you know, since I have these colors out, I might as well just cut the pieces, right? Cut the extra pieces. That's why I have some already cut over there because they were extras. I used these colors, I believe, on a card that I made for Erica for her million dollar achievement. I believe I use the same colors. I'm gonna do a couple of flowers in Magenta Madness. Again, this color is retiring, so you wanna get your hands on it. Uh-oh, I dropped a die. Hi, Wendy, how are you doing? Thanks for joining today. I have not looked at any comments, so hopefully you guys don't think I'm ignoring you. Let me just get this out of the way. I think I cut enough pieces to where we'll be okay. Get all these scraps out of the way. And so now putting the flowers together is pretty simple. Once I get them all out of here, put these all over here. So these are all our pieces. And I just, like I said, I cut an assortment of pieces. Oh wait, where's, didn't I just do a big, I thought I did a big magenta madness one, but that's okay, I have one over there on the side. Getting these out. So here's some of the extra pieces that I had. I swear I just cut a, uh, one, but these are all extra pieces. Like I said, I already had some put together. So, super duper easy to put these. See, here's the extra pieces. I just put them in an envelope. I cut them, I put them in an envelope, and then I stick it actually with my stamp set. So then that way I can make a flower right away and don't have to worry about it. So let's use these two. So we're just gonna need some liquid glue. Um, you don't have to put a whole lot. You know, with liquid glue, a little goes a long way. And we're just gonna mix these up. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever you want. And there is a flower. So now on these, you just put a little bit of glue in the back, put this leaf on here. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna move it aside. Now you can use glue dots for this. I have the liquid glue out, so I'm just using the liquid glue. And that's gonna be enough because we're gonna put a dimensional on there. So let's build up another flower. Let's do this one. We can add this center. 
Um, I don't have no pumpkin pie, so let's go ahead and, I guess I didn't cut any pumpkin pie out and add that one. And then now, this one, we'll just add these leaves. This is really super easy and quick. As soon as you have your pieces cut, we'll let those dry. And we'll just do a small one. Another, let's hear, there's pumpkin pie. We'll do pumpkin pie. We'll add this Mango Melody Center. And then we'll add a Night of Navy Center. Flip it over. And, oops. I was trying not to get glue on my hand. That's why I'm using my Take Your Pick tool. And then let this one dry. Now see how easy that was to create all those flowers? And we're going to need some more for our card. So I have some pieces set. And I actually, I didn't cut out the Knight of Navy bow, but I have one in my little bag of goodies. So now we'll use some dimensionals and put our flowers together on our, oops, on our treat box. I hate when that happens. And of course, we'll put, oh, look, I lost one of my leaves. But we're gonna put a dimensional right on there and it'll stay. So we'll put this one over here like this, have those leaves hanging off the side. We'll add this one. Only need a couple of dimensionals. I'm gonna try and, um, these ones, I moved in a little closer like that. I'll tuck this one under. And we just need one. I'm gonna try and read comments because I don't want you guys to think that I'm ignoring you. Move these leaves in again. Place it over like that. And then now we're gonna use the opal rounds. These are another favorite of mine. Thank goodness they're st sticking around. We'll put one small one in the center of the small flower, a medium and the medium flower, and then a big and the big flower. And then now we need to cut out a label. I don't have one of those cut out. Um, my trimmer. Actually, I think I need this. I don't want to mess this piece up. No, this one might work. I'm going to save that one for my little card, but I need to cut this down. Since we're making a mini card, I need the thick white card stock. So let's do our tag. And oh, look, there's where my magenta madness flower was. I guess it got stuck on the bottom of my cut and emboss machine. How funny. See, I knew I wasn't losing it. I was not losing it, even though sometimes it seems like I am. <laughs> so now we're going to use Night and Navy. And, oops, I got a dimensional back. Stamp, you are amazing. Close this up, get it out of the way. And I kind of needed to position my flowers a little bit different, but that's okay. We'll use some more dimensionals and we'll see if we can move that one flower out of the way. So that way you could see you are amazing. There. Still need to move it in a little bit more. 
because we're gonna put our bow and we'll use a mini right there. Put our bow on and then we're gonna add another bit. But if any of you ever wanna go to the home office, it's sure worth it. And there's our box. Like I said, we had such a good time. Uh-oh. Are you guys still seeing me? Because for some reason it says it's been interrupted. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys are still seeing me because on my iPad it says that... Um, the broadcast has been interrupted. So we're gonna make our mini card now. So this is gonna be three by six. Three by six, and then we're gonna score it at three. So this is a three by three card. And then we're gonna need a, <laughs> I have a mess all over here. A mess, a mess, a mess. I need my measurements to figure out what I'm, well, I should know. If that's a three by three, then the um, the piece of paper is gonna be two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So let's go. Two and seven eighths is just shy of the three. So two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then I'm gonna need another one, one and a half. by three and a quarter. We're gonna use this one on our envelope. Okay, so now I think we're finally done with all the trimming. So let's put this on my card. Denise, I'm glad you're here. I was showing all our gifts and our fun time that we had in Park City. I showed all my amazing gifts from you guys. So that is so simple. I already have this flower made. Let's um, go ahead and make another one. Again, easy peasy, put some glue. Let's add. I need some of these spare pieces that I had. I have stuff all over the place. I can't find them. Oh, let's go. Here. And then I don't have let me let me grab into my stash and see what else I have. Oops. Like I say, look, you just keep all these pieces so then when you need them. See, I'm gonna add the pumpkin pie center right there. And then do I have, we're just gonna add, we'll make another Knight of Navy one and then just add this one that I already have stuck together like that. So our card does not need no sentiment on it because we've already have it on our box and so then our flowers are just going to be put together on the card so we'll put this one in the middle i think i might have made the big flowers gonna take up all the room on the card let me see It's a little bit tight. I should have made a, another smaller flower. But then there's our card and we can add some leaves in there if you want. Some more leaves. I don't know what I have here. I have one of these. Let's put it on this side. Stick it over here. 
And there's our card. It doesn't match what I did, but you see how easy the flowers go together. And then now let's get our little envelope. I think a lot of people forget that we do have the little three by three envelopes. And I think there comes like 20, oh, 40 in a pack. So these are always good for little gift tags. So all we're gonna do is add some seal. I can't tell if it's coming out. Yeah, I think it is. I tell you, I never have a problem with the white on white, but I think, cause usually I don't. So we're just gonna bump this up against the seam of the envelope and then go around and trim it. It's that easy to decorate your envelope. I could have used liquid glue on this too. And voila, there is our card and our envelope, our two packages. These leaves are a little, they've been around the block a few times, tossing them. There's today's projects. I hope you guys enjoy them. And don't forget, if you don't have this set, that it is going to be retiring. So you need to get your hands on it now. Um, to me, I think the dies are worth it itself because you can do, you know, just make a bunch of pieces and you can make a bunch of flowers. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Now I'm going to, oh, thanks for all the hearts. Oh, so I did break up, huh? You know, it's super windy here and I think that affects um, our internet and I'm so sorry. Hopefully um, I'll check it out when we're done and if there's something I can do to redo the video, I will if I need be, but and then, I don't know, of course, Facebook is doing changes as well. Um, there was a bunch of new buttons on the phone, so I wasn't even sure if I was going to be in the right place. So let me get all this stuff out of the way because I have some goodies to share with you. Let me just get my box up here. And... Get all these scraps out of the way. So I love, love, love the new ink colors. You know, until you see them on per in person, it's such a, a big difference. So here are our new in colors. Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. Look, my things are already all dirty because I've been playing with them as soon as, I, well, not as soon as I got them. I waited for the UPS guy yesterday forever. And then when it came, I had a meeting. I had a Zoom meeting, so I couldn't even open my box. I had a meeting with my downline and, you know, I gotta take care of her first. So, this is the new in colors. Here's the cardstock. Parakeet Party. And people say Granny Apple Green. Look at the difference. This is Granny Apple Green. It's not even comparable. See the difference? Kind of crazy, huh? And then Sweet Sorbet. This, I don't even think is like our watermelon wonder. A lot of people thought that. Tahitian Tide reminds me of our tempting turquoise, but I don't have a piece to compare it. Orchid Oasis, this is like a bluish purple. I'm not sure how it's coming out in the camera, but look, I have a Highland Heather flower there. See the difference? And I think the center is fresh freesia, but it's more of a bluish purple. And then here is our starry sky, which, let's see, look, I have Night of Navy here. And there's kind of no comparison. So this is kind of like a dark bluish purple. 
but I really love these colors. So let me get this out of the way. So I'm doing an In Color Club. And so with the In Color Club, it's a five month subscription and each month you're gonna get uh, like the stamping pad, the refill, a package of cardstock, um, the stampin' blends. I got all the stampin' blends. Like I said, I haven't even been able to open everything. Uh, you'll get a pack of stampin' blends. You'll get um, six sheets of your color of the designer series paper. This is a new pack. I was using another pack already, but gorgeous colors. So you would get six pieces of your DSP for that month. So if your your colors parakeet party, you would get the Stampin' Blends, the six sheets of DSP, the ink pad, the refill, the card stock. Um, oh, a Stampin' Write marker. There's a bunch of stuff that I can't even remember. Oh, and then plus, look at these. How beautiful. You'd get a spool of ribbon. These are so pretty. I haven't even opened. I don't even know what they're, what they feel like or anything. So let's open one up and find out. Is it like a, oh, so it's super thin, but it's nice and shimmery and pretty. Those are gorgeous. So that way you would get one of those and and so after the five months, you'll have all your ink colors. So let's start out. I got the cup of tea bundle or sweet. So this is, this is going to be my first retreat in a box. I've already got projects in mind to create. So there's your stamps. There's your dies. I have the DSP. Let's open it up and see because I haven't opened it. I'm opening it all with you. Except for my stamps. I used that earlier. Look at how pretty. Oh, look at the little teapots. Lemons. Uh oh, my friend Alessandra. She loves lemons. I hadn't even noticed that. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So I know this is gonna be my first retreat in a box, which is kind of what I just did with the rainbow retreat in a box. And these are the, look at how pretty these are. These go to the tea set as well. They're cards and envelopes that are already pre-made. So look at how pretty. See how that one, Orchid is more purplish. But look how pretty these envelopes are. And you know, you can cut up your envelopes and use them on your card bases. So pretty. Love, love, love. And then here's the card bases. Like I said, I think this is the first time I've been super excited about in colors. I mean, I've liked the other ones, but Actually, the ones that are retiring now, I was kind of like, uh, but now I'm sad to see them go. What else goes with the tea set? Let me see. Um, try and see what else I got. So, I got the Brood for You set, and I know there's dies I haven't opened. right Denise so oh look how cute so there's the dies and the stamps that this did not have no designer series paper with it but you know what I think I would use the neutrals so that's already in my, my mind has just been going crazy trying to figure out projects my T T ones are already done and then, like I said, my first class is already done as well. So I might as well show you that. This is the Bottle of Happiness Bundle. 
This is going to be my first class. I have the cards already done and everything. And they're, all the cards are going to feature the in colors. So stay tuned. I just have to get all my prices and everything figured out. But this is my first class. I love this. I happened to receive this prior to me going to Utah. I got this in my catalog. So I was very look, uh, lucky. And... Um, I got to play around with it with current product and then all I did is switch it around to new product. So this is a fun class that I already have created. Um, the other bundle I got is the Happiness Abounds Blossoming Happiness Dyes. I, I'm not even familiar with everything. I pulled out all my retired product the other day and I guess now I have room for the new stuff. There's the dies. I can't show you the inside of the catalog to like show you samples, but this and then there's the, look at how pretty that paper is that goes with it. Oh my goodness. Where's my scissors so I can open this up. And you know what, I placed another order today because I forgot my catalogs and so I'm like, oh, I forgot my catalogs, I might as well order some other stuff. So I ordered more stuff. Good thing my husband just goes with the flow. So look at how pretty. So this looks like a painted texture. Ooh, look at these flowers. And I bet you these dyes cut out these flowers. Wow, I don't know for a fact, but they look like they do. But really pretty papers. Oh, look at this. Rainbow, Denise, rainbow. These are like rainbow colors. So that is the Happiness of Bound Sweets. And I believe these dots go with it. Look at this, how pretty these are. I like anything sparkly. You know what? I didn't use uh, Wink of Stella on my project today, speaking of adding sparkle. I'm surprised. I must have just not thought about it. So that's another sweet. And then my other one I got was the Sweet Songbirds. And there's a punch to this. So I have not played with it, but there's no DSP, but this is a cute little set as well. Um, let me see. Oh, here's my package of DSP that I already used. And then the bottle of happiness. Look, there's little domes for them. How cute. I didn't use those in my projects because I didn't have them at first. I ordered this because it's black and white. This is the penciled in DSP, I think. Perfectly penciled. Cause you know, you can always use a good black and white paper. And then you add that pop of color. I mean, look, black and white with this sweet sorbet or tranquil tide, any of these colors. You could color these in. How pretty would that be? So far, me and you have ordered everything the same, Denise. Hmm, isn't that funny? We're too much alike. So here's the penciled in. Look at how pretty. Like I said, you could always use a good black and white paper. And even this, just to use a, as a background. And then you can color this in with all the in colors. How pretty would that be? Or you just color a few in with one color. Oh, see how this is the stripes go this are like stripes you know, put that as a card base and then color it in the rainbow colors oh, see my brain just keeps going and going and people are wondering why I was sitting outside waiting for my order <laughs> for Mr. UPS man so that is the penciled in I bought this one just because for the black and white and um Look, I was making some card bases with those colors. 
Again, look how pretty, so pretty. So we finally got some sort of stitch shaped dies, but that's not what they're called. But look at these. They are called the stylish shape dies. So we got our circles back, our squares, and then some banners. Had to, had to have these. And we have some other ones, fabulous frame dies. And neither of these have stamp sets. I don't think this one had a stamp set because I looked, but I haven't used this. So I think for my In Color Club card, I'm gonna use these. I have, that's why I was cutting my, uh, my, my bases. And I think that is actually it other than I bought the in color 12 by 12 paper and that's because these are good for um, 12 by 12 is good when well for scrapbookers but when I do my um, 3d projects and I need a bigger um, a bigger piece but could you imagine this what we just did today in the new in colors your flowers and the new in colors popping out on that black and white gorgeous so that's it for today until I get the rest of my order uh, well my second order but I, I, I don't really remember what all I ordered I just needed catalogs but I had to go in and order some stuff oh they had the in color Baker's twine so I ordered that and um, I think maybe a couple more stamp sets but anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Oh, last week, I know it was a pre-recorded video because I was in Utah, so I didn't see that anybody shared the video, so I didn't draw any names for that. Next week, I'm gonna be on my way to California, so I think the next two weeks, I'm gonna have pre-recorded videos for you, and I'm sure that they will be um, things with the new product. I, as soon as I'm done here, I got to start creating for the next two weeks and make videos. I'm so sorry that the video um, stopped. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to rewatch and figure out what happened. But um, go ahead and share my video. Let me know that you shared my video and you will get the supplies to make these projects. All right, you all have a good day. Bye, Denise. Take care. Bye-bye.